Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at In Development Super Thought. It's, um, that's a name that may or may not change. And this is kind of like an alpha test just to show off the basic gameplay features, um, or combat features at least. As I said, everything here you see here is subject to change. But so far, what we have is quite an interesting tech demo of the uh, combat mechanics. Just see if we can um, change the hair, give you an idea of how that looks. Look at the character. And you've got various options to tinker with. So let's get it on. The idea here is to survive this. Um, it's currently set in a slow motion mode, and uh, that is one of the gameplay quirks that. <coughs> you can activate this sort of slow motion time so there's it in action you see a wonderful sort of animation on the hair and character movement very stylized and she's got a fair move, few moves available to her so how the developer manages to pull this together so that those kind of flashy moves um, will you have a, a point system like Devil May Cry? So the more stylized you attack, the more sort of groove you have, combat groove and such like. Let's see what happens anyway with this sort of basic. manually slow that time down. Oh, I think I got a hit. As I said, it's like a one hit kill scenario here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So they're spawning again. Let me just quickly show you the Gun Knight. That's another secondary character. Play is completely different. It's got a gun, obviously. Use that sort of bit of time. And he's quite versatile as well with his movements. Currently using a controller. I'm not sure how to stop the bullet time. Need that bullet time. Let's go back to the original character. Yes, yeah, so I think once you change character, you can't change the hair. After that, that's a basic feature, and you can turn that off the performance. Right, let's play this properly now, see how far I can get killing these. Oh, I've been hit again. Try again. I'm using a controller here. Um, obviously, got mouse, support, keyboard. And I think this demo is actually available for those who back the game 
via Patreon. But it has a lot of good potential here. Depending on how the developer incorporates those sort of gameplay systems with its stylized sort of combo. I think the final score it was about 38, so I'm using that now. But I haven't been playing it seriously. Let's see how high I can go. see more of this game. There's lots of different moves that you'll be able to perform, like jumping up on enemies and digging a sword into the uh, head of the enemy whilst he's riding on top of him. Uh, other stuff as well that's not showcased in this demo, I believe. So, yeah, it's um, visceral combat. It's this kind of time-based dancing with the enemy. Pretty cool. I think there's options to change your stance and stuff like that. Which is quite cool. And you can get the um, put the sword away. Get killed now.
Nico. <laughs> around it, it's so cool, it's a thing as well, it just shows a lot of potential. If you're paying close attention to that hair though, that wonderful hair animation, and it's really uh, fantastic. Look at that hair, look, look at that, look at that. Oh, dead again. Yeah, super thought. I'll leave a link to the um, Patreon in the comments or description. And um, yeah, please support the developer. I think he's on to something really nice here. Uh, once he gets some sort of more game and uh, gameplay elements sorted, but he's got the basis here for a really nice, visceral, stylized combat game. And um, yeah, I'll be following its progress very closely. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not a fan. Thanks for watching.